Hi, this is Yelde and in this video I will show you a Tree of Life necklace from the Moonlight Shop. Let me start off by saying that this is not your ordinary Tree of Life necklace and I will, I will tell you why there is so much more going on here than what you see at first. But first let's just take a look at the, at the necklace itself. Um, the necklace is, uh, has a nice size to it. It measures one and a half inch across and, uh, and a little more from top to bottom uh, when you include the loop. This necklace has a cotton cord, um, a 30 inch cotton cord on it, which I have bound so you can adjust the length. You can also get it with other cords as well. Um, the pendant itself is made from pewter, which is uh, perfect if you are usually allergic to most metals, as there is no lead or nickel in this, so you can basically wear this all day and night without any problems. Okay, so with that said, let's take a look at the symbol itself. So the first thing you will see here is the Tree of Life. Now the Tree of Life is a, is a very um, important symbol. For Wiccans, it uh, it represents um, man and the universe and everything in between. It tells you about the saying, "As above, so below; so below, as above," which basically means that everything in nature is connected to um, what should we call it—the supernatural. So the gods they connect the gods they talk to us via nature. And we use nature to uh, to communicate with the gods. Um, now, as with everything else, there is much more to the Tree of Life than just this. But um, let's move on. The next thing you will see here is uh, the hexagram. Now, the hexagram is this six-pointed star. Uh, not to be confused with the pentagram or the pentacle, if you prefer. The hexagram uh, is just as complex uh, as the pentacle. Um, but it has a very different, uh, very different meanings associated with it. The hexagram here is much more about um, about the gods and about nature. Um, for example, one of the things that this symbol represents is the female god and the masculine gods, which are represented by these triangles here. Um, another thing that it represents is uh, all the elements. Depending on how you look at it, it either represents four elements or seven elements. So if we start at the top here, we have fire, air, earth, water, stone, metal, and then nothingness or void here in the center. Um, again, there's much more to it, but, uh, but let's move on to the leaves here. There are five leaves on this tree, and the number five is just as an important number as the number three. It has many, many meanings, but in this case, it symbolizes the five points of Wicca. Uh, the Wiccan read, the law of three, self-responsibility, self-improvement, and the ethics of attunement. Finally, we have the circle of protection, which, uh, which uses nature and the tree of life to uh, protect the bearer. So that's, that's what I really like about this necklace. Um, I really like the look of it. It's very non-threatening, but there is so much symbolism hidden in this, in this seemingly very simple necklace. And I, I am, I'm really a sucker for that. I really like that stuff. It's much more meaningful than just having a, it's much more meaningful than just having a, an ordinary necklace. Um, but anyway, if you wanna if you wanna learn more about this, uh, head over to the Moonlight Shop where you can read more about it and you can order one for yourself or for a friend. And yeah, I think that concludes this video. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something. Have a wonderful day. Blessed be.